Hey, what's up you guys? Aaron here from Clever Programmer. And today we're gonna do a nice short, sweet little video about string manipulation and a little bit of string parsing. We're just gonna be going over two really quick Python functions, uh, split and join. So let's get right into it. Manipulating strings is actually uh, pretty important in Python. Um, if you ever need to parse a CSV file, which is a CSV file is just a comma separated value file, which means there's a bunch of things in a file. And then between each of those things is a comma with no spaces. That's all it is. So it could be like a list of names, a list of emails, a list of prices, a list of whatever you want it to be. But it's basically the a file is just text. And you sometimes want to be able to do things to that text by splitting splitting it up or putting a bunch of things together into text and whatnot, stuff, stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be going over real quick. Uh, very simple, very two. Um, very two nifty little little functions. I'm just gonna go over the syntax really quick and let's just go. So let's say I have um, a string, a string that I wanna split up. Let's do split first. So let's just say I have, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's just say I have a bunch of problems, all right? We're gonna call it broke, comma, pale, comma, short, comma, nerdy, okay? <laughs> and then, Let's say I want to actually, because this list is just one long string, it's not like anything. Like if I just print problems, then um, the story of my life will be displayed to the screen. <laughs> but if I want to make a list um, with all of these elements in there, then you can actually split this up using the split function. So what I want to what I want to uh, show you here is that we are going to split on a very specific string called a delimiter. So I'll explain that in a second. Let me just type it out first. Uh, so L just stands for list. I'm gonna go problems.split, and we want to split on a delimiter, okay? So a delimiter is just a fancy word. I don't even know why it's called that, but what it is is just something that goes between things. So it's like a it's a unified thing that goes between things. So like in, a comma, in the CSV file, a comma-separated value file, the delimiter is the comma with no space, so it's just a comma. If there was a comma space, uh, maybe some CSV files have spaces, there might be like a, a type of CSV file that has spaces, I don't know. But if it does, then the delimiter would be actually comma space, okay? The delimiter would be that string, those two characters together. So for us, that's exactly what it's gonna be. As you can see here, back to the screen, uh, we have a list here, and each of these words is separated by a comma and a space. So our delimiter is literally going to be comma space. Okay, you might have to escape this. I'm gonna test it out real quick. Testing as you go, like little things like this is usually much faster than trying to research it up and being right the first time. Just like take two seconds and figure it out. It's cool. So let's do this. Uh, we have this string here. We print it out. We try to split on this. And now let's print the list that we just created, L, and see what comes out. As you can see, it worked just fine. We didn't have to escape it. Let's see if escaping the comma does work though. Run it. Mm. No, it does not. So this is actually interpreted the C as you can see, this entire thing is uh, a list of one long string that looks just like that. So you do not need to escape in here. So just keep it like that. Um, this parameter is just a raw string. You don't need any escapes at all. A raw string just means it's literally what it looks like on the screen. You don't have to escape anything, which is nice. A raw, it might look like this if you've seen it before. It has a little R before the string, but I don't think this function, this split function um, can handle that. So that's split, very, very simple. You can take a string like this and split on anything you want. Also, something else I could do is if I put like, I wanna split on short and then run it. So it's actually going to take this, split on here. So the two elements are gonna be everything here. This is the first element. And then everything here is gonna be the second element because it's splitting on this string. Let's try that. As you can see, the first string is broke, pale, comma, space, and then the second string is comma, space, nerdy, because we split on the delimiter that was short. But let's just go back to what we had up before because that makes a lot more sense. Run it, and look, we have this string, and we're splitting it into this list. Now, uh, what you're probably thinking is join. The other function I mentioned was join, and join does exactly what you what it, what it sounds like it does. It does the opposite of split. It'll join a whole list together into one string. So that's like if you say you had a Python list in Python or a tuple or something, and you had a bunch of 
of data and you wanted to put it and you want to generate a CSV file, a comma separated text file, uh, sorry, comma separated value file, then you could use something like this, like join to put everything on that list into one big long string of text and then stick it into a file, call it a CSV file. And then now you can give that to anybody else who, who wants the CSV file and they can do whatever they want with that. It's a very common thing to do. So uh, we'll just call this joined equals, and this syntax is a little bit tricky. Like this actually stumped me a few times when I started. I don't know why it's like this, but you actually put the delimiter first, just like this, but the delimiter first, let's just put um, space and space. Okay. So that instead of just making it again, what it was originally, we're actually going to do a little change on it. Um, actually, let's do this. Let's do CSV equals like that. So actually, we're actually going to do two joints. So ignore this for now. Actually, let me just get rid of it so I don't confuse you. That was just a random idea I had on the on the fly. So you have your delimiter first, you have a string here, and then you're actually going to call a function on that string, which is a little bit weird. I don't know why why that why it's like that. But basically, you have to have the string and then you're actually calling a function on the string. So it's literally string dot join. And then in join, you put the list. So list L would be L. And then let's print out joined. Just like that, and run it. And as you can see, it prints out one long string broke and pale and short and nerdy. Okay, cool. But Earlier, I said I had a different idea. So like maybe if you want to create a CSV file, you would actually use a delimiter of comma with no space CSV. And then you call join on that delimiter string, put in the same list, run it this time. Oh, I didn't print it. Print, print um, CSV. Yeah. And hit run. And as you can see, we generated our own short CSV text here. So we could actually chuck this to a file. Uh, I'm not going to go over how to write to files in Python. It's uh, pretty simple, maybe in a future video, maybe the next video. But that's pretty much what this uh, is going on here. We have this join function and the split function that either split on delimiter or join by a delimiter. I think they're both called delimiters. I know this is called delimiter. This might be called something else, but I'm just going to call it delimiter because just cause. <laughs> and um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, if it's called something else, uh, it might actually be called something else. I vaguely remember back from my undergrad. Anyways, uh, that's about it though. For those two quick functions, very useful for dealing with strings. Um, this will be handy for, yeah, CSC files or anything remotely similar to that. But uh, that was it for this quick video, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I will see you guys next time. And yeah, good bye. <laughs>